Hey guys, Bearfox here and today I'm gonna show you GeForce Now settings and optimization guide. Also, I'm gonna be covering the secret Asian servers they have recently added with the update. I'm so sorry this video is a bit late since I was collecting information but anyways, this video covers GeForce Now enhancement guide, settings and moreover to the secret Asian servers. So without wasting up any further ado, let's begin. So guys, GeForce Now brings tons of updates to make sure people playing can have a better experience. I will soon bring another method to forcefully enable RTX while playing on GeForce Now. Moreover, to the optimization and enhancement, I strongly suggest you guys to use NetLimiter for GeForce Now. For those who don't know what is NetLimiter, you can download it from the link in the description below. It's an app that can limit your internet or boost it to increase the performance of specific applications. Using it is pretty simple. All you have to do is just find GeForce Now while opening the app and then right click on it. And once you right click on here, all you have to do is hit add rule. And over there, just uh, from here, just go to priority and then put the priority on high. Hit okay. And then you are really good to go. There are also a few apps, namely Timer Resolution, Mem Reduct, TCP Optimizer. So I have made a specific guide to it. You guys can watch it from the i button on the top right section of your screen. I highly suggest you guys watch it because it's gonna be really, really simple guide and it will help you a lot with everything. So I strongly suggest you guys watch this guide. And I also suggest you guys to run an antivirus every single week so you keep your PC safe from any type of malware that, that can, you know, cause damages to your computer or reduce your performance. Moving ahead to the settings for GeForce Now, first of all you have to open up the application and then go to the settings section. Over there, I suggest you guys to put this on auto because uh, auto is way more better than choosing the servers manually. Uh, then for the streaming quality, uh, previously I used to suggest you guys for custom setting up the bitrate, but it's not the case now. You can use competitive. It is optimized a lot for long distances. As you guys can see, comp competitive optimizes your stream settings to de deliver the lowest possible latency during gameplay. So it is basically, you know, the automatic way of uh, setting bitrate and also guys what you can do to improve your performance is that type in geforce now and then right click on that and open file location now if it opens you the shortcut you can right click on that and go to file location now once you are here guys what you have to do is make sure you go to the view section from these three tabs and over there make sure that you have hidden items checked and file name extensions checked. Now I'll find something called geforce now or json. Right click on that and go to properties and make sure read only and hidden are both unchecked. Hit ok. Right click on that and go to edit. Now once you are here you don't have to change much just go from dx11 to dx10 if that gives you a black screen error or you can go for dx11 because dx11 is currently the more stable version coming all the way down make sure that you have the iohid configurable true and sdlv sync false once done with that, hit Ctrl S and close the program. Over here you have to just close the application and run GeForce Now back again. Now once you are here, go to your settings and scroll all the way down and make sure Direct Mouse Input is enabled and Discord Rich Presence is disabled. And Discord Rich Presence is disabled. So that cover up the settings of our GeForce Now. Now to our hot topic, Asian servers. GeForce Now has planned to establish Asian servers since there is a really high demand to it. 
yet we got no updates from the team essentially. After the April update, I played on GeForce Now for a while and soon realized that the lags and delays have been drastically reduced. Also the ping was round about 80, whereas in EU servers was round about 170. This means that without any announcements, beta Asian servers has been established in Singapore and South Korea respectively. Yet yeah, GeForce Now isn't available for Asian regions, you can download it using a VPN and start playing by putting your servers on auto. Put on EU, VPN and start gaming, you will see improvements soon. I'm hoping that GeForce Now will soon implement the servers and it will be very much helpful for us. So that makes it up for today guys, I hope you all like this video. I make guys like this every single week so make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate your love and support. See you guys in the next video. Until then stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.